Hello everyone, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. In today's video, I'm doing a series of three controlled battery tests for the Onyx Books Poke 2. Now, the reason behind this is because, number one, I was interested to actually do a controlled test to see if I can get meaningful results or not. Because you know that I've already established a desktop test and I'm working on improving that. I was also pondering about getting a good controlled battery life test in place. And Onyx Books devices are mm -mm, perfect for that because the Neo Reader has the automatic slideshow or the page flipping functionality and that just works super cool. So that allows me to simply set it all up and just leave the device and do its own thing. Reason number two was and there were a couple of posts on Facebook groups and some comments as well um, offering slightly different results than what I am getting. I think it's all about managing expectations and that's the reason why I wanted to do this test to actually show uh, unequivocally what the results are, what the battery life is of this device, under which conditions. And then you can actually compare your results and see what's what. So let's check out the tests. All right, so I'm gonna do a controlled battery life test. So the settings are gonna be no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, uh, refresh mode is on speed mode, and the front light is using both of them uh, at 50%. And I am going to be using this document. The book is formatted to the largest font so that I have uh, as many pages as I can. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here, I'm going to start the uh, slideshow to the max, so 20,000 pages, and yeah, let's, let's have it change every 30 seconds. So I'm just going to leave it and at the end of it we'll see the report and it will tell us uh, how many pages it flipped and how long it took uh, and how much energy was spent. So yeah. So here we are, it's almost seven hours doing its thing, over a thousand pages flipped and the power is down to 87%, so let's see how it goes further. All right, here we are, ten and a half hours in. Uh, 1708 pages and the battery is... 80% so I'm gonna go to bed uh, pretty soon and I'll see what it's like in the morning so so far looks good it's morning 706 we got 3,000 pages and we are down to 61% after hmm, roughly that would be 19 hours so still going strong so here we are close to 24 hours um, 3839 pages in and the battery oh, just switched to 49 it was 50% like a couple of seconds ago so yeah 24 hours in and it's 50% down 2323 of the next day of this test so this guy is actually running now for 35 hours plus and it has flipped 5600 pages and the battery is at 30 percent so <laughs> this actually looks like it might even get 48 hours so that that's quite interesting Let, let's let's just see what happens because this is really interesting the uh, three <laughs> i think and um, yeah, we're at 6.39 a.m. 6,745 pages and the battery is at 11%. So we're currently at 42 hours uh, strong. So yeah, that's, uh, let's see, maybe it actually reaches 48. It's 9.18, we're at 45 hours of flipping pages and the battery now is at 1%. So what I'm gonna do now is exit and we should get the summary 
which says 44 hours, 37 minutes, 59 seconds, 5,352 pages, started at 99, ended at 1%. So that's the battery power, um, capacity and what it can deliver uh, without Wi-Fi, without Bluetooth and both front lights at 50%, flipping pages every 30 seconds. So this time um, I'm gonna do the exact same test, same conditions, everything, but this time the uh, front light is going to be off. So we're starting at roughly 12.15 I think, and we're gonna use the exact same settings, okay. So it, I believe it started, and yeah, so the slideshow is working. Let's see how much battery can we get out of it without the front light. Here we are, five hours in, uh, flipped through 897 pages and we are at 91%. That's interesting. All right, let's see how this one goes. 12 hours in, uh, how many pages? 1850 pages and 82% 12 hours in. That's interesting. All right. I'm gonna go sleep and see what happens in the morning. It's uh, half past eight in the morning. We're 3315 pages in and down to 67%. Alright, um, so this is looking like it's gonna go past the 48 hour mark. 26 hours in, 4,231 pages, and the battery is 56%. 36 hours in, and over 5,500 pages in, and we have... 42% remaining. All right, so this is definitely gonna do 48 hours and it might actually even reach 60, so we'll see. We've entered day three. We're at 42 hours in. Um, 9,759 pages and 35%. So <laughs> this may enter even a day four because it's it's just yeah it, th this is quite impressive. All right, so here we are, a little over forty-eight hours and seven thousand seven hundred thirty-two pages in. We have twenty-three percent remaining. So by some logic. This should last until 11 or midnight tonight, which would then make it 60 hours. So let's see if it can get that far. Over 54 hours, he's flipping the pages, 8,735, and the battery is at 11%. This thing actually could reach 60 hours of flipping pages. That's insane. Unfortunately, I just missed it. It was like 1%. I turned on my camera and it just flipped over to this. And the time is 10, 10, 10 past 10. So 59 hours, 58 hours, 55 minutes. And yeah, who, who knows how many pages, but without the front light, without Wi-Fi and without the Bluetooth. Pretty freaking cool. Alright, and the final test is going to be the opposite end of the spectrum. We are on Wi-Fi using 5G. I have hooked up the um, Bluetooth and the screen is at maximum brightness and... I'm going to be playing a 10 hour uh, YouTube video. So we're starting at 12.50 at, well, now it's 99%, it was 100, and let's see how long it lasts. Alright, so it's a little bit over an hour past, and now we're at 68%, so it's going really, really fast.
Here we are, two hours and 13 minutes in, and we're down to 31%. Um, still connected to the headphones and playing audio, and yeah, playing in A2 mode because that forces the screen to refresh more than the X mode. But um, yeah, it's, it's going really fast as expected. All right, we're at almost three hours of playtime and it just switched over from 10% to 8%. So I'm thinking that it's gonna last maybe a couple more minutes and that's gonna be pretty much it. So I'm gonna babysit it now and try to catch the minute when it actually shuts down. Ah, I was too slow. Uh, the video turned on a little bit too slow, but it just, just, just turned off. And we are one minute shy of four o'clock. So this lasted three hours and nine minutes under the full extreme load. All right, so that was for me personally, I think that was really, really impressive. You get 59 hours of continuous work. That's a lot, but I found it even more impressive, the longevity uh, with the front light at 50%. I personally never use it at 50%. If I use it, I use it maybe at 10, just to get a little bit of a brightness, like a brighter paper. Um, and in the evening, I don't use the blue light, I only use the, the orange light and I use it at the minimum setting, at the first glimpse when it actually turns on. So that's my use case scenario. And of course, never Wi-Fi, never Bluetooth, unless I am downloading and getting something online. So for me and my use case scenario, the way I'm using this device and the way I want to use it, these are the results that I'm getting and I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, if you want to use it as an Android tablet and crank up the front light and use the Wi-Fi and stream music and video and uh, use it hooked up on a Bluetooth, of course that it's going to not last as much. And as you can see in the maxed out result, it was barely over three hours, which again makes sense. So for me, it just confirmed what I had in the previous four weeks of testing this device, which is that if Poke 2 is used as a reader device, not as an Android 9 tablet, but as a reader device that has these additional capabilities should you need them. But if it's used primarily as a reader device, then it's going to last for weeks. Um, but if you pump it out as a tablet, then it's going to drain battery as a tablet. Simple as that. So those are the results. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.